This is the 10 foot, two inch, three way Thomas & Thomas Zone. It's probably the most interesting Euro nymphing rod on the market today. And because I've already done a review or two on the Zone, this is gonna be a quick take. For many years, people have called in to Trident and asked for a Euro nymphing rod that could also throw a dry fly. And my answer has always been that you could do it, but you shouldn't. And the reason is Euro nymphing rods have characteristics that are good at Euro nymphing. And that generally makes them pretty bad at throwing a dry fly. But that's where this rod comes in. It's the only rod that I've ever used that can competently Euro nymph and also throw a dry fly. And in fact, it's actually quite a good rod for both. And in this quick take, I'm gonna show you why. Of course, being a TNT, this zone has really top-notch construction. And in fact, for a rod that arguably is mid-priced, this is probably the nicest one out there. And you should probably check out other reviews if you want lots of in-depth coverage of the cosmetics. But this rod here has a fighting butt and a downlocking reel seat. That is classic Euronym features that, in my opinion, are required. And of course, you've got a great grip. And then, while the zone doesn't have the absolute top-notch titanium guides and componentry, it's really, really nice. And this rod looks nicer than some rods that cost twice as much. But it's when you get this rod on the water that it gets really interesting. Today, we've had it out on the river Euronymphing, and we even cast some dries to rising fish in this pond behind me. And that's the kind of thing that you can only really do with this rod, or you're gonna be carrying two or three rods to accomplish that same goal. And when it comes right down to it, the dry fly capabilities of this 10 3 weight are really as good as just about any other three weight. Sure, it's a heavier rod, and I wouldn't take this as my only dry fly rod because at the end of the day, with a seven or eight foot three weight, you're gonna get a rod that is really, really light. And this rod isn't that. But if I'm headed to the Farmington and I know I'm gonna be Euro nymphing all day long, and all of a sudden, I see rising fish, you can definitely make that happen with this TNT zone. And it's good. The presentation is good. You can cast it a very reasonable distance. In fact, for a three weight, I'd say you can cast this as far or further than any other three weight. And the presentation is pretty good. I used Rio Gold today, and I think that's a totally reasonable line to use on this rod. From a Euro perspective, it's also pretty good. Sure, it's not quite as nice as my Sage ESN, and it's not the slightly longer contact, so you will be giving up something when it comes to your own nymphing, but not a lot. It's really pretty good. You're getting a lot of great sensitivity. It casts pretty well, and this is a rod that you can definitely your own nymph and not feel like you've made a compromise in your primary Euro rod. Overall, TNT brings a package with this zone that no other rod maker has managed to figure out. And it's one that, while a lot of the hardcore Euro nymphers are probably not gonna care about, there are a lot of people that occasionally do want a crossover rod. And now there is one. Tell us what you think about fishing dries and Euro nymphing with one rod. Would you do it? Do you think it's a crazy idea? Let us know by leaving us a comment in the box below. And of course, if you got questions about this rod or any other Euro nymphing rod, we've got answers. 888-413-5211 or email us 24-7 at support at tridentflyfishing.com. And don't forget, we've got a lot of great rod reviews coming right up. I'm Ben. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.